up, guys? Ooh, hey. <laughs> yeah. It is Wednesday? Is today Wednesday? All day long. Okay. Whenever we have like a Monday off or a holiday week like this, I'm just screwed up until the next week. Mm -hmm. Like I don't I don't know what day it is. That's why you need the camel to walk through the TV station saying, Mike, 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 Mike. It's like they don't care about us at all at this station. They, they don't won't get, get you us a, a camel, camel. And then they wonder why. I don't know what day it is on air. <laughs> there it, is. it is Wednesday, May 29th. Thanks for being with us today. I'm Haley Harmon alongside Dee Ransdale of Nash. FM 92.9. Thanks for being here again. That was really dramatic the way you said that. I know. I don't know why I did it that Maybe way. Maybe you could be the Nash. you could be the big scary voice girl on the radio. You could do that and and do all the in between stuff. Hey, as long as you put great. the word scary in there. I'm Absolutely. Be the big like girl. It. Yes. Uh, you do, you could be that too. Okay. We call you that big girl. I'm down with it. You want to be big girl? All right. When I was a kid, man, if they told me I was a big what a big That's girl. That's nice. Isn't that funny how that yeah, changes? You smile. Yeah. Yeah. And then now it's like, oh, she's a, what? And now you're saying, what do you mean by that? That's right. What do you mean? What are you trying to say? You've hurt my feelings. Um, do you keep, or did you ever keep baby books? Do you have baby books for your kids? Yes, or absolutely. Like yes. put little mementos Not and stuff? Not nearly enough information specifics, but I did, absolutely. And yeah. I've got those pictures uh -huh. and the little bracelets you get in the hospital and the little hat they put on it's you. It's so nice to save it all. Did you it's ever good. like write down funny moments or things like that or anything? Absolutely. Okay, good. My parents did too. And the reason I ask is this conversation just made me think oh, I love to look in that baby book and my dad one of the things he'd written that I said because they just love to write down funny stuff <laughs> my dad said I think um Ann my mom he said I think Ann's joking about my weight because uh, my dad's like 6'3", big tall guy, but my mom always like like would like kid him about, oh, you've right. gained some weight or something. He goes, I think Anne's taking joking about my weight too far, and Haley was trying, but I think Haley was trying to encourage me today. But I was like three, and I, she said, he wrote, Haley said, Daddy, you're as big as you can be. <laughs> <laughs> He's maxed out. And he goes, out, I Dad. think she thought yeah. she was complimenting me. Because again, if someone said, what a big girl you are, I was like, yes. Yeah. So I thought I'm gonna do Dad a solid and tell him. You're as big as you can be. <laughs> he was like, I think I need to take Ann's comments though more seriously. I must need to lose some weight. Yeah, Dad, your your skin's stretching. We could pop you right now. That's too much. You're it's like a sausage, much. Dad. You it's need too to much. simmer down. Saving those moments though and things that happen, it's so hard to remember to do it in the moment. You know, when something mm -hmm. happens, you're like, oh, this is funny. I'm not going to forget this. But that's why those baby books are so important. Even if it's just quick writing down something funny or sweet that happened. Right. And you can't just save it in your phone because your phone could go kaput at any point. That's and you true. To make sure you have it so you got to write it down you've got to okie dokie so today on the show uh, we have our friends from clay chick ceramics joining us today they're based right here in lexington they do a couple of huge sales throughout the year but you can shop online all year long they are all about creating fun and functional gifts that bring a smile to your face and they're going to show us some of their hottest items right now i can't now. wait i, I can't wait i've seen some of them mm -hmm. uh, and you've probably seen their stuff in stores and everywhere i mean they're those really cute ceramics like they have you know ceramic cross and you can you know or dishes of any kind, a dog bowl, and you can Great get them all stuff. personalized. Also, Deidre and I are going to kick off a new segment today. We are calling it What We're Loving. And we're just going to share with you some things that we're loving lately. Absolutely. We think you should check out, too. Yeah. So, any Good housekeeping, stuff. any other news you need to share? Uh, no, I What's do have, on? I know we have Cruiser from uh, 590 WVLK coming in tomorrow to talk with us about the St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Country oh, Fair. Yes. And let I me tell that. you, he already is worried about his appearance tomorrow. Why? So, we're going to plan some ways to sabotage him when he gets here. Okay, perfect. Yes, I was going to say, let's it's radio give, fun. Let's prank him. Let's give him something to worry about. I want to. Yes. That's what we do. <laughs> Okie dokie. Our first story we want to chat about today. A lot of chatter here in Kentucky over the Kentucky Department of Public Health's proposed ban on tattooing over scarred skin. They held a public hearing yesterday in Frankfurt to take comments from concerned citizens. Tattoo artists and other opponents spoke. They say the language behind this proposal is unclear and many believe a ban on tattooing scarred skin would hurt breast cancer survivors and those trying to cover scars from accidents, illnesses, or self-harm. Now, the Department of Public Health has not given a reason for the proposed ban, except to say that the state's tattoo regulations have not been updated in 15 years. So they're updating just just to update? I guess so. But it doesn't make any sense unless there is some proven reason that you shouldn't do that. Yeah. And, and you know, it's not like it's going to go on and be a problem for the next person that they're doing a tattoo for because everything is new each time. So yeah. 
I don't, I, you know, mm -hmm. I wonder if it's for identifying scars and marks and things like that. Well, as far as catching criminals, police will put yeah. that out a lot. You know, hey, Absolutely. look out for this person. They have a tattoo on their so-and-so or they have a scar on the side of their face. On or their so-and-so. Like if you get your, oh. your so-and-so tattooed, that has got to hurt. Oh, I hear it is rough. <laughs> <laughs> you need something to chew on. Yeah, oh gosh. I think this is one of those situations where, A, I think we need some more information. If they're going to call for a ban on something like this, they've got to answer these questions because, again, they've given no real explanation. They've got to give people the information. But I think this is probably one of those scenarios where they come up with a ban. They think, oh, this is going to be an easy one. You know, it makes sense to us for whatever reason. But a lot of laws, you know, will have unintended consequences. They probably didn't think for a second about tattoos to cover, you know, for people who, you know, self-harm like cutting themselselves. Or breast they, cancer or survivors. Breast cancer survivors. So survivors many or, breast cancer survivors have chosen to do that to, you know, own their lives again. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It'll be interesting so, to yeah, see how this goes. It will be. Hopefully we can get some new information. Of course, we'll keep you up to date. What is the best city for landing a quality summer job? This is the time of year a lot of folks take seasonal jobs to earn some extra cash. Christmas time and summertime. Absolutely. Is when we're all trying to get that extra money, those seasonal jobs. That's right. Whether you're a school teacher or a kiddo, mm -hmm. you got to be out. You got to go and yeah. make your money. Yes, you do. Well, in a new list by Wallet Hub, out of 182 cities, Lexington ranked 100 overall. Wallet Hub looked at 21 key factors to rank the list, including employment outlook, affordability, downtime friendliness, oh. rental property costs, and availability of summer jobs. They also looked at what the minimum wage laws were in each place and local costs. Those factors determine how much you're going to make and what you're going to be able to spend that money on, like how much you're going to be able to afford in terms of, you know, your rent for an apartment, transportation, and social activities. That's so, right. And 100 we, on 182, right there in the middle. Well, that's... It's not the best. We want to be down a little bit lower on that. Yeah. Right? Because, you know, we've got so many new industries that have been popping up and yeah. so many things that go on. But Keeneland and things like that are seasonal and they're in the fall and in the spring, yeah. not necessarily in the summertime. Mm -hmm. So That's true. Well, well, and we do have... I wonder if it's that... I mean, because we're a pretty good-sized city, and I feel like we have so many restaurants and businesses and we stuff. We do, but we're also a university town. That's just and what our I was going to say. Leave. Yes, they so. do leave. But I wonder how many of them stay, though, and are taking those seasonal jobs. Mm -hmm. Maybe we have a ton, but they're just being taken up. We're going to have to look into this we more, We need a Haley. summer job, Deidre. I think we... Uh, uh, never mind. No. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> it's going to... Say something. Oh, just, you know, okay. you, you tell you me when we go to commercial. I will. It'll be great. You'll giggle. <laughs> I'm going to love it. <laughs> Another report by Wallet Hub. A new study has found American stress levels have been rising for many demographics since 2016. That was really nice and oh, it's a flourish. It is. You just, just did thought, a flourish. Uh, that was really nice. Common stressors are the future of America, money, and health insurance costs. Kentucky is listed as the fourth most stressed out state in the country. That makes me feel better. <laughs> I'm not alone here. The findings are based on work-related stress, money-related stress, family and health and safety-related stress. Louisiana, though, number one. With all of the gumbo, how are they stressed? <laughs> right now, I They've don't know. They've got beignets. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Louisiana. They just Pull need to together. get their perspective It'll be right. okay. I promise. Get it right. Okay, Minnesota is the least stressed out state. What? Well, but you know what? There's a lot of a outdoor activity in Minnesota. There's a lot of beautiful Well, only for about a scenery. month out of the year. Other well, than that. that's why it's just summertime. You better maximize it. Yeah. Otherwise, you put those little snowshoes on and you just yeah. walk everywhere. I'd be snowshoeing. Oh, man. Oh, that wouldn't be fun. My goodness, that's awful. Yeah. What do you do when you're really stressed? Like, what are some of your self-care stuff that you do? You know, I have to go and exercise. I have to go walk. Yes. If I can get out uh -huh. and get out with some music on that I want to hear, yeah. put the headphones on and get out and just walk. Mm -hmm. I may make it to Versailles. I mean, I get on the <laughs> well, road. Well, good Lord, there's yeah. Deidre. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've got a lot of children. Yeah. They can stress you out. Yes. Let's just say that. I'm the same way. What for do you do? Say, I, I love to walk. And for me, it's just, it's so true. Like, exercise is one of the best, like, mm -hmm. scientifically proven to help relieve stress. But it's so dang hard to do it when you are really stressed. The yeah. last thing you want to do is go work out. Or even at the very least, go on a 10-minute walk. You want to sit on your couch, if you're me, look at Instagram, and eat some donuts. Like you or just ice want cream. To, or ice cream. You just want to hole up. Mm -hmm. But yeah, for me, exercising. Gotta even go. if I can go on a 10-minute walk around the neighborhood, it's like... <sighs> Now, I can't take my dog on the walk because Bronco Nagurski, who's out of control, he's Bronco. a big chocolate lab, 105 mm. pounds, and he stresses me out even more. Well, he's dragging you. You're it, no longer walking at that point. It's, it's a wonder my shoulder is in place yeah. right now because yeah. he's kind of... So I don't take him if yeah. I'm stressed. Yeah. 
If I'm happy and looking to get stressed, then we go. <laughs> I'm too happy. Yeah. This let's is, get the dog and let's go. <laughs> I don't like how this is going. This doesn't feel like me. Do you love Pizza Hut? Uh, love Pizza Hut. I love Pizza Hut. Yes. I used to eat there more when I was a kid. We have one in my hometown and then I'm on like, now I just, I really don't go eat in restaurant mm -hmm. and I never think of Pizza Hut. I usually yeah. think of like Domino's, Papa John's. Sure. Well, but I love Pizza Hut. Absolutely. Well, they're giving their iconic original pan pizza a makeover. Ooh. Yes, they are remaking their pan pizza recipe for the first time in 40 years. New pizza, it includes a new cheese blend and sauce. It will be baked in what Pizza Hut calls a newly engineered pan so it can have a crispier crust uh, this includes expanding their uh they're also going to be expanding their beer delivery program by a thousand locations by the summer i don't think i knew they had a beer delivery program i'm not opposed to it though I'm are not, you no not at all i'm not offended i'm in full support so i am not offended <laughs> whatsoever so you get a bigger pizza in the new pan and beer straight to the door hi it's coming together pizza do you want to sponsor us because we <laughs> We have the same values. We do. <laughs> Our core values are right there. You want to spend some quality time. Let's do it. Okay. Oh, man. I have to, the funniest story. I'm sorry. I have to share this. Um, it was at the Pizza Hut in my hometown of Lebanon, Tennessee. One time we went in there. It was my parents and I, my brother, my sister. We went in there to eat dinner. And we look over, and some family friends of ours, their 10-year-old daughter is there. And she's playing. They had some arcade games, like uh -huh. Pac-Man. Uh -huh. And she's over there playing. But her family's not there. <gasps> Oh, they had left her behind at Pizza Hut on accident. <laughs> and she, the employees, because it was in the era where nobody had cell phones. Right, right. She knew her family's phone number, but it was the home phone. Well, they took them about 20 minutes before they got home. So the Pizza Hut employees were just giving her quarters and letting her play Pac-Man while they waited in the hopes that her family would soon realize they didn't have their child. Now so my this... mom was like, Rachel, and she starts sobbing. It's like, Miss Ann. <laughs> and so now my mom holds that over her. It's her best friend that mm -hmm. is this girl's mom. She all the time is like, well, you did leave your child at Pizza Remember Hut, when the so. pizza was more important than your family? That's right. Remember that? Yes, but Rachel is doing well. Just always check, make sure you have all your family members with you. She on top of your phone keys and wallet. Probably has a nervous twitch every time she passes a Pizza yeah, Hut. Yeah, she's though. like, oh. Oh my gosh, remember that time oh. I was left there? Oh. <laughs> but how nice of them to take care of her they until really mom did. and dad came back. Yeah, because yeah, the, I mean, they had no way to get in touch with anybody and thank goodness they didn't call the police or something. From then on, she probably just hid out hoping they'd leave her again so she could play more video games. Games. That's true. She's yeah, like, this is the place to be. They love me here at Pizza Hut. Me. She's like, mm, that's true. It, it's not a bad place no. to get stuck. Salad bar, pizza, Pac-Man, living. Mm -hmm. Okay, this might be the worst ceremonial first pitch ever. It took place in Chicago. Here we go. An unidentified woman threw out the first pitch at the White Sox Royals game. Here we go. Things look good. Standing just, oh, no. Oh, oh wow. that's bad enough. Oh, Wham. She hit the camera, she guy. She slams the photographer. He paid the price. Her reaction is priceless as she realized that her effort will soon go viral. Look, she immediately is like, yeah, well, I better soak it in. Um, the pitch took place, uh, this bad first pitch took place five years and a day after 50 Cent made his memorable botched ceremonial throw before a Mets game. I forgot about that. Everybody was like, dude, he was like very bad. I don't this, remember. I feel like, is pretty bad. Not only she throws it, ooh, oh, hang a left. That's that's almost ooh. to the dugout. Almost towards the <laughs> dugout at, at uh, first base there. Have you ever thrown out the first pitch at a game? I have. I have too. And, and I was... practice. Oh, me too. Because, I... oh. oh, no, I was not going to go and, and embarrass myself. Yeah. I was at the Legends game mm -hmm. and threw one out. Mm -hmm. And Big Al was there. Nice. Making me feel better about myself. It's just stressful. in case. It is incredibly stressful. Because when you put yourself out there doing something that other people are pros at that you have no talent in whatsoever, it's scary. And then you're oh afraid goodness. in this day and age you're going to go viral mm -hmm. for hitting someone in the back of the head with a baseball. That's right. That was unfortunate. That was dark. She should have practiced. She should have. Go girl, at least the video was from the back so no one can see her face. And they haven't said her name. That's very nice of them. I, I applaud that. Let's yeah. not shame her. Yeah. Look, she's not good at baseball. Neither are we. Okay? <laughs> We're not. All righty. But we could have done better than that. That's true. Okay. That's true. Okay. It is. All right. Coming up, we're sharing what we're loving lately. Oh, my goodness. From clothes to music to anything in between, we're opening up next.